Hello, my name is Bill Claunch and I'm with Palo Alto Networks. In this video, I'll discuss Link Layer Discovery Protocol, or LLDP. I'll talk about what LLDP is and how it's used. I'll talk about how to configure a Palo Alto Network firewall to participate in an LLDP environment. And then I'll show you how to verify that the firewall is sending and receiving LLDP to and from directly connected neighbors. What is LLDP? LLDP is a vendor-neutral Layer 2 discovery protocol used by network devices for advertising their identity, capabilities, and neighbors. LLDP is similar to Cisco Discovery Protocol, or CDP. The big difference between the two is that LLDP is an open standard, while CDP is a Cisco proprietary protocol. LLDP allows devices to send and receive LLDP data units to and from neighbors. A receiving device stores the information in a MIB, or Management Information Base, which can be accessed using SNMP. What does LLDP look like? First off, LLDP uses Ethernet type 0x88cc, and if we look at a packet capture, we can see that information here. Each LLDP data unit contains information about the sending device. LLDP uses attributes that contain a type, length, and value description. These are called TLVs for type, length, value. Devices that support LLDP use TLVs to send and receive information to their directly connected neighbors. If we look at a packet capture from a firewall, we can see examples of basic TLVs that are included in each LLDP data unit that the firewall sends out. Some examples include the system name, system description, system capabilities, and we'll come back to this one later because it can be helpful to determine how a firewall is deployed, and management address. How is LLDP used? Each LLDP-enabled device will send out LLDP data units to its directly connected neighbor. Each neighbor stores this information in a database, and network administrators can use SNMP to query each device for details about what that device is and what it's connected to. LLDP can make troubleshooting easier on a Palo Alto Networks firewall, especially for vWire deployments where the firewall would typically go undetected by ping or traceroute. The following TLVs are supported on Palo Alto Network devices. Chassis ID, Port ID, Port Description, Time to Live, End of LLDP DU, System Name, System Description, System Capabilities, management address. So let's take a look at how to configure LLDP on a Palo Alto Networks firewall. There are three basic steps to configuring LLDP. First, enable LLDP globally, and this is done under Network LLDP. Second, define at least one LLDP profile, and this is done under Network, Network Profiles, LLDP Profile. And third, assign the profile to one or more interfaces. This is done under Network, Interfaces, Ethernet. You edit the interface itself, go to the Advanced tab, and select LLDP. I'll walk through these steps with you now. First, we go to Network, LLDP, and edit the LLDP General section. Enable LLDP. You can make changes to the different default intervals, but I'm going to leave these set to the defaults for now. The next step is to define at least one LLDP profile. This is done under Network, Network Profiles, LLDP Profile. I'll click Add. The profile needs a name. I'll use LLDP1. The mode determines whether the firewall will transmit and receive, or transmit only, or receive only. For this example, I'll set it to transmit and receive. Depending on your environment, you might want the firewall only to send LLDP from an interface, or only receive LLDP from other devices on that interface. Under the optional TLVs, I can enable additional information that the firewall will send out in its LLDP packets, including the management address, which I will add here, give it a name, 
select the interface, and then enter the management IP address here. The last step is to assign an LLDP profile to an interface. So we go to Network, Interfaces, and I'm going to select Ethernet 1 slash 2, which is the internal interface of the V-wire on this firewall. Edit the entry, select the Advanced tab, enable LLDP, and select the profile that I just defined. Click OK and then commit the changes. If I want to see statistics about LLDP, I can do so under Network LLDP. Under Status, I can see that this particular interface, Ethernet 1 slash 2, is in fact sending LLDP. I can clear the statistics if I need to by highlighting the entry and using the Clear LLDP Statistics button, button down here at the bottom. I can use the Peers tab to see what other devices have been sending LLDP information to the firewall. In this case, I've got two firewalls and one host running Linux with two interfaces that are both sending LLDP. I can use the More Info link here to see details about those peers, including interfaces, system name, system description, etc. Now I'm going to take a look at a host that is connected to the firewall also running LLDP. This is a Linux host. I'll use a command line tool called LLDPCTL, and I can see information being sent by this particular firewall, including the management IP address, the system name, and the capabilities. What's interesting here about the information in the capability section is that for a firewall running in L3 mode, for an interface running in L3 mode, the TLV would indicate router. In this case, router is off. If the firewall interface is set to L2 mode, the capability for bridge will be set to on. And if the firewall is running in VWAR mode, as this firewall interface is, the repeater capability is set to on. So you can see how administrators could use this information from LLDP to determine how devices are connected to one another and how a particular firewall running in VWAR mode would be displayed in information sent by LLDP. And now you know how to configure a Palo Alto Networks firewall to participate in an LLDP environment.